Hey guys, Mady Gomez here. Um, Victor, what is this? Where are we at? What is this area? We're called? near El Camino and uh, I5. Our, so, uh, business Stadium, I'm sorry. What is it? El Camino and Business 80 near it. Okay, we're in El Camino and Business 80. Is that what you just said? Yeah. Basically, let me show you what the scene looks like. Obviously, an RV caught on. What is this? Yeah, it's an RV that caught on fire. Authorities, you see fire crews, they're still working trying to put it out. So we literally just got here two minutes ago. It's extremely hot. We are, we are adjacent uh, to that property where you can see the fire. We were coming on, what was that, highway? Business 80. Yeah, it was Business 80 and it was pretty backed up because you could see the smoke all in the sky. It was pretty dark and very far up for a few minutes, but that caused a lot of traffic. There's a huge traffic jam, so if you want to avoid that area, that's probably going to be the best you can do. But let me show you again. Let me turn this around. Fire crew still working out here. It's pretty much put out at this point. And I just talked to uh, some of the neighbors here uh, from this business who actually saw it go up in flames. So they, uh, they were nice enough to share some video with us. So I'm gonna um, post that up right after. I'm gonna send it to the uh, news desk in a few minutes so they can also post it up. You can actually see all the flames coming out. They, nobody knows here exactly how it started. They just said all of a sudden they just started here smelling the smoke. They came outside, they started seeing the flames. They called 911. Obviously, fire crews got here pretty quickly, as you can see. It's pretty much uh, completely extinguished at this point. They're still trying to put out some hot spots. And this is just in a neighborhood. Right behind this, you have a regular neighborhood. Uh, this is kind of like an industrial area. You can see this auto shop that's adjacent to where these RVs were just parked at. And two of the RVs, you can see there are two of them caught on fire. Ooh. So as soon as, as soon as I'm done here, I am going to go on that side, hopefully talk to somebody, get some more information for you. It doesn't appear that anybody uh, was injured. And I say that because we surrounded this whole area. We went around um, and we didn't see any ambulances, uh, but you know, that's, Again, just me off of what I'm seeing, but of course I'm gonna get more more information, more details for you as soon as I make it on the opposite side uh, and get closer. I just wanted to first uh, get you a first look at what was happening here because a lot of people have been calling in trying to find out where all this smoke was coming from, what was going on. So wanted to get this out here for you first. And again, for those of you who are just tuning in, we've got a lot of viewers who are calling saying, hey, there's a, there's a lot of smoke. Um, what is this area again? Is there, is there a name to this area? You know? uh, not off the top of my head, no. No? Uh, just say I'm near Business 80 yeah. and El Camino. Business 80 and El Camino. Just obviously Business 80 was just jam-packed, congested. Uh, a lot of people were wondering what was going on. And it appeared like it might have been, this is actually pretty close to it. So that's what... Uh, a lot of people were wondering about exactly what was going on, where it happened. So we literally just got here maybe five, 10 minutes ago. Um, and this is what we're finding. Two RVs, they caught on fire, uh, huge flames from what the neighbors were able to tell us. They saw it, uh, they saw the flames uh, go up. They got some video, I'm gonna post that video in a few minutes, but we still don't know exactly obviously what caused this. We don't have any details as to if there was anybody uh, in the RV. It just looks like there was, you know, you can see some RVs parked over here as well. So it looks like they may have just been parked here. Somehow they uh, caught on fire. It's two of them. Um, as you can see, the fire firefighters are still working on it, but it's pretty much put out already. The fire has been put out. They're probably working on some hot spots right now. Do you want to say it is excruciatingly hot out here? It is the middle of summer, so you can imagine. Um, it's not only is it hot, but obviously where there's flames that even, you can feel it even more. Um, let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty much a done deal right now. 
We got one of the workers from next door just hosing down. Um, but they gave us some video, so I'm gonna be posting that video up here in just a few minutes. I'm also gonna send it to the newsroom, so they'll have it and you can actually see all the flames and um, as soon, you know, from when it happened and they started recording on it, so. Okay. And just to kind of show you guys where we're at, we're actually in a truck bed. We jumped, this was probably the best uh, view to have um, because again, this is happening um, in the lot right next to the one we're standing in. So we just jumped up here trying to find out what was going on. Okay, uh, all right guys, so we're gonna head over to that side. Let me turn this around and try to get more information, more details as to if anybody was injured and what could have started this. Uh, so as soon as I have more details for you, I'm gonna put them up, so. Okay, all right guys, thanks so much for watching. This is north of Arden Arcade Mall, right? Uh, yes, it is. Drink some water, cool off watching. Thank you guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, just off of uh, Business 80? Business 80, business 80 West and Camino. West El Camino. So definitely try to avoid that area. I know it's already pretty late, so you're gonna see a lot of traffic on top of the traffic that already gets, um, that is already out there due to everybody taking off from work. So just avoid that area if you can. Again, we're gonna take off, we're gonna go get some more information and then uh, possibly, come back up for you and give you those details. So thanks so much.